More Epstein files were released today. This morning, the court unsealed even more documents stemming from the civil case against Jeffrey Epstein's associate, Ghislaine Maxwell. Today's batch comprised of 17 items, totaling 327 pages, and includes a bombshell email from one of Epstein's alleged victims. In 2016, Sarah Ransom wrote that she possessed sex tapes of six high-profile figures, including former presidents Donald Trump and Bill Clinton, as well as Britain's Prince Andrews and Virgin Group founder Richard Branson. Ransom retracted her statement three years later. Let's bring in NBC News legal analyst Angela Sinadella to dive deeper into all of this. So, Angela, walk us through this, because people have really been digging through these documents day by day. In this latest batch, what would you say we have learned and what sort of was the biggest revelation here? Well, I do want to underscore that we are still seeing more first-person testimony of the horrific allegations of assault by both Maxwell and Epstein. And you really see why that is where these criminal prosecutions came from and that put Maxwell behind bars for 20 years. Now, in terms of this allegation in this email, we know they were from Sarah Ransom, who is a well-known victim. She's come forth before with her story. But here she's alleging that there are sex tapes. And in the first part of this email, she is alleging that they that this sex tape uh, she is alleging very specifically that this sex tape includes Bill Clinton and Richard Branson and also Prince Andrew and that she has this sex tape that they were filmed. Now, in the second email, she really just doubles down on this. And not only does she say that these sex tapes exist, but she also says she's willing to swear under oath and testify in court over these. But as you said, Allison, it is very important to note that she later retracted these statements and in in fact, claimed herself that she made these up. So I'm not quite sure how much veracity we can attach to this email, Ellison. Hmm. So have any of the individuals named in this latest release of documents responded to being mentioned or any of the allegations included in the documents? Yes, and they have fiercely denied them. We have a statement from Richard Branson, who says here in a New Yorker report published in 2019, Ransom admitted that she had invented the tapes. We can confirm that Sarah Ransom's claims are baseless and unfounded. And so we also hear a similar statement from Trump, where he says these baseless accusations have been fully retracted because they are simply false and they have no merit. And so I also think it's important to underscore here that it wasn't even a victim necessarily speaking of her first person experience, as we have seen from other documents, but it is a victim explaining what she saw her friend experience or heard from her friend. So this type of testimony would not even necessarily be admissible in a court of law, but they are salacious and real accusations nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.